Welcome back everyone. So it's been a few weeks since I put up any content and I apologize about that. Uh, I'll try to be more regular about that. Uh, we spent a week up in Zion National Park, which was a lot of fun. It was nice to get away. And since then I've just been getting, um, trying to get better from this Tommy John surgery that I had on my elbow. It's kept me out of work for a few months and actually I go back on Friday. So I cannot wait for that. Uh, anyway, just want to give you a couple updates on the tank and the frag tank and things that have been going on with it. So probably the biggest thing since my last video was the frag tank, and I'll make my way around to that. And it's been going pretty well. Um, yep, still got the puffer in there. He seems to be doing fine. He doesn't pick on any corals, which is fine with me. And I opted to go with the bare bottom on this tank. Because I just like to look and it's easier to maintain and I keep the flow up and and everyone seems happy. So on this one I've got four of the Kessels on there. It gives me a really good flow and like it. So probably the biggest thing in the main tank is my, my levels uh, started uh, leveling out, for the lack of a better term. Um, my alkalinity is kind of hovering back in the good range. So if you're wondering what OTC is for phosphate, that's off the charts. Um, not happy about that, but that is what it is with the big bio load. But everything seems good. The SPS is really growing. That big green slimer is just tearing it up. And I ended up getting the, putting it outside on this canopy so the, the big cage <laughs> isn't so cagey. But I did like that comment. That was pretty cool. I dug that. Anyway, cage is on the inside now. I'll just do a quick walk around. So it's that time of year when we start getting that green algae on the glass and it's it's just normal in the winter months when everything cools off and you just gotta just keep on top of it, cleaning it off. So I do have a question for some of you guys. Maybe you guys know this. My juvenile orange shoulder tang. See that spot in his nose? It's been getting a little bit bigger. He's had it for maybe maybe a couple weeks. Haven't noticed anything different with his behavior. He doesn't scratch on anything. Uh, eats fine. Um, I look stuff up on the, the internet and it shows them when they start changing to the adult, when they get that gray color, that'll start at their face and start going back. Um, so I wonder what that is, if it's just, who the heck knows? It looks ugly, like his skin's coming off, but yeah. If you guys know, comment down below, let me know. I always appreciate the comments. So something I did today, and I was actually thinking about the last couple days was with the corals now growing again, um, you know, I always knew about my bio load. And if you notice, it's not quite as many fish as there used to be in here. And I'm gonna even take that down a little bit more. I'm not quite sure what, or who's going to make the cut, who's not going to make the cut, but fewer fish and more corals. I think that's the way I'm going to go now. Uh, this tank's been up for close to three, three years, maybe four years. Uh, if you include the old 240 gallon, it used to be on this wall, but uh, everything's kind of settled out. So yeah, going to get rid of some fish, keep some fish. And the first step in this process was I took the sump off of the frag tank. The old 90 gallon that used to be here uh, was hooked up to this uh, little sump that was right here in this bare spot. And I took that out this morning. So the drain that comes off the frag tank goes across 
and into the main sump right there and I've had this set up before with different tanks different frag tanks and I liked it it's one water body that you have to maintain and um, I think it's easier that way I think the reason why I split them up before was uh, when the main tank wasn't doing so well I wanted a place to where the corals can be rescued to another body of water but yeah, that's all played itself out so and that nice elegance is relegated to the sump right now because my blue face angel likes to eat those and I'm also going to be adding that calcium reactor back on there I just came in today and put it together haven't hooked it up yet I have to go get a bottle a regulator so calcium reactor you're back in the game That's about it. Nothing too exciting, but I did want to jump on and post an update. And like I said, I know it's been a while, and I apologize. And I'll try to be more regular on that. But I'll just shut up and do another walk around, and I'll see you all next time. Okay, thanks for watching.